So I reckon uh, the world may implode a little bit here in the next couple of weeks and not for what, I'm, <laughs> what you're thinking about. So wolves have officially been delisted from ESA January 4th, 2021. What that means is the states can now hunt them. And so Wisconsin DNR has put on the street that they are aiming for a fall 2021 wolf season. <laughs> Can't wait to see all of the lawsuits and all of the news that breaks once this thing starts gaining momentum. It, it's, people are going to lose their minds. So why? Why are people losing their minds? Why would people lose their minds? Well, it's because it's a wolf, number one. And number two, I don't think people understand the data. They don't understand the science that has led to this decision. So here's the science. Here's the data to show why Wisconsin DNR has decided to put a wolf season in place in the fall of 2021. So let's go way back. Let's go back to 19, middle of 1977 when the wolves were essentially listed on ESA and what was the recovery plan? The goals of that recovery plan for the Western Great Lakes states uh, distinct population segment, the DPS. What was that goal? So the original listing required between 1,251 and 1,400 wolves in Minnesota and at least one viable wolf population outside of Minnesota as well as the Isle Royal National Park in Michigan. So, what happened then? Well, in 2011, wolves got delisted. Wisconsin had a wolf season in 2012, 2013, 2014. Uh, HSUS and a bunch of others uh, filed suit. Federal judge agreed with them. Wolves got relisted on ESA in 2014, and now they are delisted again. So how many wolves are in the Western Great Lakes States DPS. Well, according to Wolf Conservation, a non-hunting nonprofit, there are about 4,400 wolves now in that Western Great Lakes States DPS. So when you look specifically at Wisconsin, let's look at the data of Wisconsin. In 1979, based on the Fish and Wildlife Service population estimates, there were 25 wolves in Wisconsin and absolutely necessary for why they were put on ESA to recover the population. In 2018, we had 905 wolves. In 2020, we had 1,070 wolves. That's a recovery. That's a well-established wildlife population now as a result of ESA. ESA did its job. It was a phenomenal success story. Wolf Re-establishment and restoration in the Great Lakes state, specifically Wisconsin, is a phenomenal wildlife conservation success story. But now, like every other species of wildlife, they need to be managed. So when the wolves got delisted on January 4th in Wisconsin, by law, the delisting triggered a hunting season. And so what is going to happen? Well, Wisconsin DNR are doing exactly the right thing. They're setting in place a season for wolf hunting in 2021 but at the same time between now and then they're creating their 10-year wolf management strategy and they're going to utilize the best available science the best available information so that they can target specific areas for specific management goals wisconsin dnr has a phenomenal website you can go and google it just google uh, wisconsin dnr wolf depredation and you can go back in time, even this year, 20, or last year, 2020, 2019, 2018, you can see all of the areas where there have been wolf attacks in the state by, with a GIS map. That data is critical for their wolf management strategy. So what's the take home here? What I want you to take home is this, is that when someone gets their hackles raised because of this wolf hunting season, when they start saying, well, the wolves have never recovered, the wolves should be still endangered, well, give them the data that I just presented to you. Show them how the population has grown. Show them how it's gone way beyond the recovery goals, the initial recovery goals set back in the 70s. That's why ESA is there. That's why ESA has worked here. And that's why Wisconsin DNR needs to manage the wildlife, just like they would for white-tailed deer, for elk, 
for any other types of predators. Be sure to share this with your non-hunter friends as well as hunter friends. And hunters specifically because they need to be able to intelligently speak about this. Not in an emotional rhetoric, but understand the science and the data and understand why this is happening and communicate that to the non-hunting majority, not to the anti-hunting majority. They're not a majority. They're a very small minority, just like us. But it's this non-hunting majority that we're communicating the reasons for what we are doing in Wisconsin. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting us. Be sure to get on our supporters program because there's a bunch of stuff that's coming your way. We're just so humbled and grateful for the support and, and pushing and amplifying our voice through this message.